So uh, this appears to be how anesthesia works. Okay, this is all theory. And then we got some evidence for this in, from uh, our friend Anurban Banjapati, some of you know him, who uh, liked our, our model. And he took one microtubule and, and did nanotechnology and put four different elect nano electrodes on them and uh, two to stimulate, two to record. And they're good, conduct they're good insulators, but when he stimulated with an alternating current at different frequencies, they became conductive. The resistance dropped and became highly conductive at, say, 10 megahertz, 20 megahertz, and also in the kilohertz range. And this was at, at room temperature. And he showed these were quantum effects. And, uh, and then he used 2 megahertz to stimulate the assembly of microtubules. And he found that, that 2 megahertz was the sweet spot to make microtubules grow. So remember, microtubules fall apart in Alzheimer's disease. So this might be useful, right? So he then went to MIT and spent a year looking at the same thing inside neurons with these nanoprobes and found something very interesting. He found a sequence of frequencies he, uh, from uh, terahertz to gigahertz to megahertz down into the EEG range, all from microtubule vibrations. And in one case, he put uh, from the electrode inside, he recorded music or recorded sound. So hopefully this is going to play. This is the sound of microtubules inside a neuron singing. Takes about a minute and a half. So you can see here he's sweeping the, the frequency. This is down converted because it would be too, fa uh, too fast to, to actually hear. So this gives the idea that there are vibrational resonances going on inside, uh, inside neurons due to the microtubules. So these are measuring from the, from the microtubule bundles uh, inside neurons. And these triplets occur every several orders of magnitude. Now the high-pitched one. Hang on. I'm not sure what this really means, uh, but it's kind of it's nice. And a lot of people really like it. But it's basically this, what's going on inside our neurons all the time due to these vibrational resonances. And one point I want to make is that consciousness is more like music than, than computation. Okay, so that's going on in the microtubules, which is actually connected to, uh, to space-time geometry. 